I made it to Baton Rouge. I call it Louisiana, but I just got the weirdest look at the front desk when I said it that way. I think they want me to say Louisiana, but no. Anyway, let me show you our room. My hair looks ridiculous, but it's only two o'clock. So I'm going to find fried pickles somewhere. That is like my main motivation, honestly, for coming here. I think I may head toward Galveston tomorrow because I've always wanted to see it and cruising is off of the books for a while. So maybe I can just at least go to the beach. Just got back. I went about 10 minutes up the road and picked up a USB-C to USB-C cord so I can charge my laptop and edit all day. And I also was wanting fried pickles. So I went to this place, Phil's Seafood and Oyster Bar. I got fried pickles and a little platter thing. So I can't eat the fries. I'm really not supposed to eat breaded stuff at all. But those are the fried pickles. And I got this little catfish platter. Yum. So it is 7.30 on gosh what day of the week is it thursday all that food that i showed you i ate the pickles and i could not eat anything else it was so filling so i have a late dinner or lunch tomorrow to take in the car and i'm trying to plan out where i want to go i feel better waking up if i have a destination ahead of me so <laughs> i'm trying to figure out if i'm heading back towards texas which is low on the list of potential or if i'm going to go toward florida and i think i am going to do that Tomorrow, I'm gonna drive to New Orleans, which is only 80 miles from here, because I don't need to do a lot of mileage every day. I'm not actually aiming for anything except for to kill time. So I'm gonna do New Orleans, see what's happening in the city there. I know they canceled uh, Mardi Gras this year. But yeah, I'm just plotting it out tonight. And I ran a poll last night on my channel asking people if they would prefer that I speed up production of the vlogs for Allure of the Seas and let them be longer videos with less editing, or if you would rather I do more editing, take longer to produce, but the videos would be shorter. And so far, over 70% have said to put them out now and just get the videos done. So um, I am going to book my hotel for tomorrow, take a shower, and then hop in bed and hopefully I'll get a video up um, before I leave the hotel in the morning. Good morning, it is Friday at 9.20 in the morning and I am going to New Orleans today. I've booked hotels from today through Monday. Then I'm gonna play it by ear because I don't know if I wanna continue to Florida or head back toward Houston because today they're expecting another deep freeze in Houston and I'm not going anywhere near that. If I go to Florida, I could stay on the beach and just maybe spend a week there instead of a week in Houston waiting for the house to close. Anyway, I'll show you what happens along the way. It's a short trip about 90 miles today from Baton Rouge to uh, New Orleans. I'm kind of doing a lot of road tripping this year. So I just got to the hotel a little bit early. It's like after one o'clock. It's a very pretty lobby, but I walked up to the front desk just to say I'm here early to see if the room's ready. And there are two sheriffs out front. She goes, hate to cut you off, but I'm dealing with an emergency. And she left the front desk. So um, I'm gonna check out the little shop here. Maybe go to the store. I saw a drive through daiquiri place when I pulled in, which is hilarious. I, like, how can... I don't get that. Ooh, Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. It is 1.30 and I made it to New Orleans. I'm here for two nights. This hotel is a Homewood Suites. I love these Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites, they have little kitchenettes 
They are so nice. It really does feel like a home. And this was a better price than anything downtown in the French Quarter. Mardi Gras was Tuesday and it's Friday. I don't know if anything will be going on this weekend, but they canceled the whole, like they closed the bars and everything this week. And so people were hiring local artists to paint their houses like floats or to decorate their houses as if they were floats since there was no parade. You read online, you're not supposed to drive. It's like a nightmare driving around there. I might stop at a grocery store so that I have dinners. I'm not spending too much for delivery or whatever. I am so torn on my next step after this hotel. Nurse Nancy was saying on Facebook this morning that she is going to Cancun to get away from the snow. So then I'm thinking, what are the requirements? Maybe I should go to Mexico. I have two weeks to spare. Why don't I spend them doing fun stuff? And the price of the hotels on white sand beaches in Florida probably far surpass the daily cost of like an all-inclusive in Cancun. As crazy as it might seem to just flee to Mexico, it might, it's an option. You can't cruise. That would be awesome. If cruising was open right now, I'd be driving my happy ass to the port in Florida and taking a week long last minute cruise or several three day cruises. That would have been so awesome, but they won't open the industry, so. It is three o'clock exactly and I just got into my room. We have a kitchenette with a stove, fridge. This is such a similar layout um, to the home with suites that we stayed in. I'm trying to remember what city, New Mexico. It's like older furniture and stuff. And they had cut this wall out. But other than that, it's the same floor plan. Huh, very nice. Instead of going to the drive through daiquiri place where I wanted to go, I went to a Winn-Dixie that I've never been in a Winn-Dixie before. And I picked up enough groceries to get me through the next couple of days. And then when I got here, they gave me two bottles of water for being a Hilton Honors member. One of the things I really love about these hotels, cooking utensils. There's some extra coffee stuff up there. Interesting. I have usually seen four of everything, but I, there's only one of me. I don't need three. It is 540 and I feel like it's time to cook this meat because if I'm going to set off the smoke alarm I should do it at a reasonable hour. So I'm going to make pork loin and this mixed squash. I'll show you once it's cooked but I'm going to try and grill it and hope that the alarm doesn't go off. Wish me luck. I put this pan on the back burner turned it on to medium and set it to remind me after 40 minutes because it's a pretty big hunk of meat. Well, 30 minutes in, I come and check on it. Turns out that burner doesn't work. So I moved it over to this one. I have had it on for about like 25 minutes now. And I went looking and I see that there are salt and pepper shakers. So I'm going to add some salt because I don't have that. Um, to the squash and then I'm gonna cook it for 20 more minutes and have dinner. Good after morning. It is actually three o'clock. I just made low carb quesadilla. The most ridiculous thing happened last night. The front desk called me at like 10. I'm on the phone with John and they say somebody reported that I was in the hallway flashing people. <laughs> so yeah, that was odd. I'm like, no, not in the hallway flashing people. So yeah, I'm gonna go out the back door because the front desk probably thinks I'm some kind of, what is that called, voyeur?